The edit tools are your primary tools that you will work with while editing audio and MIDI. They are also found by right-clicking in the Edit window. Let's go through each tool. The first one is the Zoomer tool, which is also selected by pressing F5. We have already discussed many zoom options, but selecting this tool gives you the ability to be able to lasso specific areas that you would like to zoom into. If you click in the edit window, you will zoom horizontally. You can option click on a Mac or alt click on a PC to zoom back out to your previous zoom level. Click and drag to zoom in horizontally in a specific area. And again, I'm going to option click on a Mac or alt click on a Windows machine to zoom back out. Hold down command on a Mac or control on Windows to make a selection to zoom in both vertically and horizontally on MIDI or on audio. Hold down Control on a Mac or Start on Windows and click and drag up and down to zoom audio or MIDI on a per track basis. Do the same thing but drag left and right first to zoom horizontally continuously. There are also options for a single zoom tool which will switch you back to your previous tool after you use it once. The standard trimmer tool is used for trimming the ends of clips and notes. Click and drag the edges of clips to trim them. There are also other trimmer tools. The Time Compression Expansion tool allows you to stretch or shrink the length of a clip. The Loop Trimmer tool will loop the clip as you trim its edges. I will explain more details of this tool in another video. The Select tool, F7, allows you to make selections across clips and notes. The Grabber tool, which is also selected by pressing F8, allows you to grab clips and notes and move them around. There are also different grabber tools. The separation grabber tool allows you to be able to move or copy a selection of a clip. You can also separate clips with the select tool. To do this, click where you would like to separate the clip and then press Command E on Mac, Control E on Windows. B on the keyboard will also do this if keyboard focus is on for the edit window. The object tool allows you to select multiple clips that are not contiguous. Do this by holding down Command on a Mac or Control on Windows as you click the different clips. The Smart tool can be selected by pressing any combination of F6 to F8 or by clicking the Smart tool bar above the three buttons. The Smart tool combines all of the tools together so that you can trim if you move the mouse to the edge of the clips. You can select as you click and drag across the top half of a clip. And you can grab the clips by moving to the bottom half of any clip. You can also create crossfades by going to the bottom corner of any two clips and clicking and dragging. You can create fade ins and fade outs by clicking and dragging on the top corners of the clips. The scrubber, F9, allows you to scrub across the clips. The Pencil Tool, F10, gives you the ability to draw out pops and clicks out of a waveform. Draw Notes. 
draw changes in volumes and other automation parameters, and also draw in tempo changes in the tempo ruler. There are various patterns that can be selected for this tool. The three remaining buttons that we will talk about at this time are these. The first button is Link Timeline and Edit Selection. When this is on, your selection will match your playback. When it is off, you will be able to make edit selections independent of your timeline location. The next button is Link Track and Edit Selection. When this is on, any selection you make in the edit window will also select the tracks. and any tracks you select will affect the selection in the edit window. Finally, we have insertion follows playback, and this affects whether the insertion point will rewind after you stop. If it is off, then Pro Tools will rewind back to the previous insertion point whenever you stop. When this option is turned on, the new insertion point will be wherever you stop, allowing you to pick back up where you left off when you hit play again.